Hello everybody! Welcome to my Let's Play series. This is the Season 3 and Episode 11. Uh, if you count the small look into my thought uh, process when it comes to the receiving system of items for my base. And I was up here trying to locate something to kill, but I just for, uh, remember I had placed the game in peaceful, so it's like, whoops! Yes, because I was in the testing world last time I played Minecraft. Anyway, since episode 9 I believe I did fairly th few things, and you can see some water is dripping from upstairs. Eh, well, I could think uh, water would be a little less uh, disturbing and uh, this wood would be a little better when it comes to isolate from humidity. Seems like it is not. Oh well, can't live with that. Let's play some silver dust to cook and uh, let's go down and see what kind of trouble can we get ourselves into. Whoa, ho ho! As usual, this gives quite a nice result. Remember, Leaving your quiesitum working while you're doing something else is the way to go, especially since you can fit it with cobblestone. I'd made an automatic uh, feeding system, but I believe it's a little early for that. I don't really need to research all that many stuff. Anyway, I should go to recipe mode. As I said, I just left the test world. But uh, rest assured, I didn't give myself anything. So, what are we going to do right now? Well, first of all, I'm going to check down here, since my crystal farm is fur is faring quite good. You can see I got my hands in quite a handful of crystals. To be precise, 16 beast crystals, which is good. And I should be making myself something good. Uh, something good, like in... Oh dear! Back chest! It works, so it will solve itself uh, eventually. Not to worry. So, another thing uh, I can tell you to those that are new to Equivalent Exchange is this little hole in here can be used to place -da! a target block. So now this item will go up all the way where, from wherever it is. That means blaze powder, by the way. Did I teach this to here? Yes, I did. Uh, directly up to... Oh. Up to Eternalis Fuel. Or I can remove the Eternalis Fuel and let it go through all the process. Let's stick to a direct process. Also, the backpack is a little spent. So, let me see, I, I was hearing something out there. Might be my imagination. Anyway, I, am, I start to have some issues with all these uh, ships. I mean, mm, they are eating a lot of grass. Not just when I shear them, which, incidentally, I still have to do for the first time. Oh dear. Anyway. I am going to grab myself some lapis. Why? What you might be asking yourselves if you're new to industrial craft. Because if we go here, we can see the bat pack. Well, we don't really need to go in here, do we? We can see the bat pack we have in here. We hit U, and we see with an advanced circuit and six lapis lazuli block, we can make a lap pack. Now, how do we craft an advanced circuit? We need a regular circuit, some lapis, redstone and glowstone. Fortunately, we do have all the necessary ingredients, don't we? Yes, I hope. Yeah, we do. Let's grab ourselves one electronic circuit, some glowstone, some redstone and the lapis. Perfect. Let's check how things are going in here, by the way. Tin finished, more tin to go, and iron finished. 
Should get uh, my hands on more stuff to place to green. So now should I? Yes, I should. Let's play some coal for now. No, I should pl be placing more things to cook, not more things to green. Oh dear, my hat, my head, my poor head. So how do we craft this? Uh, well, I already told you, so <laughs> I just spoiled the fun, didn't I? Now, let me see if I can remember the recipe right. Yes, I no, I just show it to you. Uh, you can blame it on my old age. Perfect. Now we need to craft ourselves a lapis block. Like all blocks in Minecraft, it's crafted like this. And remember, you can decraft them without any kind of trouble. Uh, oh dear, I forgot something. I need to unequip my my backpack. Uh, don't worry, it's not really uncharged, but haha, uh, we didn't lose any kind of any amount of power. Oh, can't place things in back in the chest if I don't have them in my inventory now. Can I? <laughs> no, thought so. So. One little problem with the lap pack is that it won't charge inside the bat box. In fact, we can no longer place it inside the bat box. Oh dear. However, we can go here and say, hey, how are you doing, buddy? The MFE will charge our lap pack. You can also use an MFSU, by the way. But uh, anyway, that means this system in here is a little redundant right now. Sadly, uh, I'll think some of some use for it. Oh, um, for example, uh, I already told you that you can't uh, place uh, these cables in long distances. If you play, make more than four, to be precise, five is already stretching things a little. You will have a problem. You will lose energy units. One of the ways to avoid that is to place one of these guys. Every every four of these, you can place one of those. However, you can also use better cabling, like gold cabling or another one. Yes, uh, high voltage cabling, but that would be a little hard to understand. No, glass fiber cable, that's what I was talking about. However, glass fiber cable is expensive. It requires diamonds, and you can make four if you are playing with vanilla industrial craft, or if you have rest power two, you can get six by placing silver ingots instead of uh, silver ingots instead of redstone. So it depends on you. Uh, before I used to make the automatic crafting using redstone because I was able to produce redstone using equivalent exchange endlessly, also diamonds and glass. However, we are able to produce silver, if I am not mistaken. Uh, I don't think I didn't check if I was able to. Did I? Can I teach uh, silver? Yes, we can. So, essentially, there is no reason for complicating things excessively or waste materials. Of course, silver has a high EMC value than redstone. Let's check how much. Redstone is valued at 64. Silver at 512. I suppose the the recipe is essentially equivalent because you are wasting a diamond and getting two glass fiber cables. You want you can do the math if you want by adding all the EMC values of the involved items together. I won't be doing that. We are not going to do math here, at least for now. I hope. Please, don't make me do math. Anyway, I believe it is a good time to start thinking with uh, automation. Yes, I know. I presented an idea before on how to automate all these thingies. In fact, I am going to expand this uh, little wall. I should, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Wow, 
That was quick, wasn't it? Okay, I'm kidding. Anyway, I won't be moving this guy in here until I empty its uh, energy value, which is right now, for example. Yeah. So I can place it somewhere else. Uh, I don't know. Oh, first. I should have done that before. Perfect. Now let's place you, for example, in here. Oh, by the way, these guys generate their own uh, light. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Which is good. Okay, perfect. Everything is good. Except this uh, thing shouldn't be there. So we're gaining space slow, oh so slowly. Should raise the, the ceiling a little. Mm. Well, who cares? Anyway, automation. As I said before, uh, I am going to need a lot more materials. And that means uh, I am going to need to farm seriously. Hopefully, well, we have... Uh, well, I can't really show it to you right now because it is booked. So we are going to need to make it do with the wiki and the alt tab and all that stuff. We're going to go inside forestry and start with automating some farms. Now, since uh, I have two options to start powering both, uh, both buildcraft and forestry stuff, uh, well, as I said, we have two options. Those two options, it is uh, fairly simple, really, are limited to, um, right now, right, solar energy and uh, burning stuff. I could go in that direction. You can see in the map uh, there is something black in the lower right corner. And there's there's uh, an oil spawn. But I don't want to start uh, going there because I should need to craft myself some sort of uh, way to bring home the oil and then I would need to process it and then I would need to storage it and all kind of uh, the right problems. Anyway, we're not going to need to make ourselves some stuff. That stuff requires us, us to craft pistons. Tons of pistons. So we're going to grab... Uh, is it raining? Yes, it is. Thought so. Let's grab some wood. Let's grab... For example, yeah. Oh! Can't recycle all these. Yes, I can. The, oh, always uh, fail with that. What am I going to do here? Well, essentially, I'm going to burn the slab burn the fence and burn the ladder and I'm going to target regular wood it is not really cheating it's just uh, it's just turning back items into what they were before so I'm going to need iron lots of iron to boot and we don't have much <laughs> However, we have gold in spades. So I'm going to abuse it a little. I'm, uh, well, all mods are really ravenous about uh, iron. I don't know why. It's uh, so sexy, it's so sleek, so good, so... Oh dear, I shouldn't be talking like that, should I? Now should I? And we're going to need some redstone. I was just kidding. Okay, like this, and of course, cobblestone. It is all about materials. Oh dear, Minecraft is such a materialistic game. So we got uh, some of these guys, pistons. And of course we lacked iron inside, so I just waste some time. <sighs> As I said uh, time and again, I am such a klutz. Okay, looking good. Did I forget anything else? No, I did not. Perfect. 42 piston, pistons, or 43. Now, pistons are used for a lot of stuff. For example, sticky pistons. Did I mention I killed some regular slimes in the undergrounds? Yes. 
I have a dungeon that would be quite uh, a moving option for Halaster if he wants to live under mountain. Uh, the rolling machine, this is from Railcraft. We might make one of these later. Uh, of course, some rails from Railcraft, some stuff from Railcraft, and finally, engines. We can make redstone engines, which require nothing but uh, some redstone power to work, and they won't overheat, they won't generate much power, but they will work forever. We can craft ourselves some steam engines, which uh, work burning coal or charcoal, and if you have Railcraft, they will also burn with a uh, coal coke. Which means, by the way, I need to start making myself a coke oven. We'll do that in a, in a moment. And we can craft uh, combustion engines and a compactor pipe. The compactor pipe is something that will uh, slot up to 64 items before sending them up. It's just to reduce lag. The combustion engine requires liquids to work. It can, go, it can work either with lava or with oil or the refined version of oil which is called fuel or if you have forestry it can work with other sources of other liquid sources of energy like bio biogas or biofuel or something like that won't be using for now because combustion engines also require a coolant that means uh, water all the time or they will blow up now steam engines can also overheat and blow up. However, if they are hooked into some of Buildcraft pipes, they won't. Ever. Now we have also biogas engines from forestry, uh, pit fire engines from forestry, and electrical engines from forestry. Now the pit fire engine works with pit, which is something you make with uh, forestry. We won't be using that for now, because uh, while they produce the same amount of energy as uh, combustion engines and last, and last for longer uh, they require their own dedicated farm and we want to start farming not to go directly for the ending uh, electrical engines are an option but uh, they take a lot of energy or at least in the last version they did and produce uh, a reduced amount of energy Oh, the deployer. This guy is like a godsend by the goddess Loram. Uh, it's a red power to item that will, that with uh, an inventory will act, li will act like you are right clicking with the item it has inside. In the first slot, it has a 3x3 three three grid. You can use it to fire the portal gun if you want. Really, I already tried it. Or even. Uh, or even industrial crafts mining laser the block breaker quite funny and uh, a core part of my use, uh, cobblestone generation systems you can place one of these with a clock a source of lava and a source of water separated you know when, uh, when regular water merges with uh, regular lava they will produce cobblestone and the block breaker will take that cobblestone each time it pulses. I also use it sometimes to for easy grabbing of um, lava because uh, no matter how hard it is to get the item the block breaker will get it in one go. The transposer and the filter. Oh dear. However, uh, you might be thinking, hey, why did you make so much pistons? Well, you know, the filter is used to craft the sorting machine and the retriever I mentioned you from re uh, in the previews. Well, I call it Let's Play, but that's because I didn't want to make this one too long. Anyway, for the time being, we need to craft ourselves some stuff. That means lots of wood turned into sticks now these sticks are going to be turned into wooden gears yes this is an item from Red uh, Buildcraft and you can do something with them for example we can take a crafting table full wooden gears and tada automatic crafting table this is something really necessary if you want to automate your system 
Uh, and there are other options, however, right now. There are... I don't really know the name of the mod. I didn't use it, but it's, it has been mentioned. I'll try to place it into the commentaries of the video. Uh, there is uh, one mod that uh, will let you have an automatic crafting table, but for rest power 2. That's in case you don't want to have a bold build craft and rest power 2. Because, you know, just the quarry is overpowered, regardless of its cost. Anyway, I am not going to make some redstone engines for now. I am going to go right straight for <coughs> the other ones. Uh, and that, uh, cobblestone, no, uh, steam engines, that was the name, yes. So we need stone gears. Stone gears are made by actualizing the the wooden gears with uh, cobblestone and they can be in turn be actualized with uh, iron around to craft ourselves some of these nifty iron ones. I am going to craft like uh, 10 of those. Yes. Because I am going to need them later so we'll get this out of the way. Anyway, I am going to need more glass. Sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, da, 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 perfect. Like this. Nope. This. Perfect. Uh, the piston. Yes. And now the glass to connect everything. It's a firing chamber. And I did something wrong. Of course I did. I always do. Oh dear. Ah, uh, it's no iron. It's cobblestone. Sorry. My mistake. They are cheaper than I thought. ta -da! Uh, let's make 10 for now. More than enough. Okay, so steam engines. ta -da! Internally they only have one slot where you place... Oops, didn't want to do that. Oh dear. Well, in there you just place uh, coal or charcoal and uh, they will store it. Once they receive a redstone signal, they will start working, producing buildcraft energy. Uh, it's fairly simple, really. I'm making it sound a little too complicated, but it is not. So, rest assured, it's fairly easy. So, what can we do now? Now that we have all this nifty stuff assembled, but we don't have really anything to do with it. Do we? Yes, we do. There are some things that we can do with all this. And that thing is uh, using this steam engine to uh, fire up a farm. How do we craft a farm? Well, usually it would be going here, but we're going to need some... Uh, no, not brass. Uh, we're going to need copper and tin. Yes, I know, I'm using three stacks, three full stacks. But don't worry. Ta-da! I only used uh, a quarter of one. So, there's this nifty machi machine from Forestry called the Sturdy Machine. Ta-da! Eight, thank you very much. We're going to need again the glass. I am sorry, I just forgot about that. And if we place the story machine and surround it with glass, we get nothing. Because we need to use it only for the... I don't know if we need it for here or for the four others, but we have holes in the middle. Let's see what we get uh, with different options. I am, I'm in completely blind right now. I don't really remember all the recipes. Hey, Pitbock! No. We don't want Pitbock. Uh, thing? Nope, not working. Okay, let's check with iron. Oh dear. At least I know I had to write... Uh, oh, the combine. No, this is for other stuff. I might be using that for sugarcane farming, but not now. Hmm. Let's try something. Give me sapling. Haha. <laughs> let's try this and... Nope. Strains, I swear... Oh well, we can u hit you here. Arboretum, gold, that was... But we wanted gold. 
I wouldn't have uh, imagined that. And the logger requires diamonds. Oh dear. The amount of diamonds required is too damn high, if I can say so myself. Haha. <laughs> okay, don't hunt me. I was just reusing that uh, meme. I always confuse that. So we need gold. Get gold. Uh, we're going to need the diamonds to make something else. So, okay. I am really, really reticent to spend all my diamonds, at least for now. Anyway, we get the logger. This is needed for um, gathering materials we are going to plant. And we need the arboretum. So what am I going to do with these two? Essentially, I am going to set up a system to produce endless amount of wood. Well, not that endless. We are going to use up appetite for this system. And if you're wondering, appetite. Oh dear, this is new. You can teach appetite to the transmutation table. It wasn't possible in the last version of uh, equivalent exchange. So kudos to whoever coded that inside. Oh well. And we need sand. Uh, do I have sand? Yes, I do have some sand. Uh, let's place it in here. It is already known. Mm, let's burn some gold to get it. Uh, to get a huge amount of it. Yeah. And let me think for a second. We need uh, the appetite. Surrounded by sand, was it? No, 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 no. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's not up, it's not sand, it's uh, dirt. We need dirt. No? Okay, how do we use the owl? Oh, of course. We. I was going a little ahead of myself. So, since I don't want to be making and unmaking stuff, we're going to get our Philosopher's Stone, Pitsy, Sand. Well, let's uh, make 32 at, at one time. And let's get uh, all this load of fertilizer. ta -da! Humus. You're going to need really huge amount of humus. So, it's not really a great problem to get yourself lots and lots of uh, dirt. Seriously, it is not. You're going to need a uh, huge amount of it. Mm, did I make something bad? Yes, I did. Oh dear. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> all the humans you, you can make. Thank you very much. And I'm going to store the rest of the humus in here and the appetite now that we are at that. So now we have the arboretum and the like. Uh, we need a good spot to place things. And sin since it's raining and getting dark, I am going to go ahead and skip time. Okay, last steps we are going to do here. First, we're going to craft ourselves some pipes. In this case, there are golden. Iron, wooden, and I am craft. Oh dear, shouldn't have uh, hit that. And I am crafting a little too much in, on purpose. Stone, and these ones I really do a lot. And that's essentially all the ones we're going to need. Now we're going to talk about uh, power. For power, we need a special version of each one of these. Mm -hmm. That requires redstone. Yes. On the top. Wooden conductive pipes. This works uh, on a different way. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to need one of these little babies. An insertion pipe. I will tell more about this in a second. And uh, the golden transport pipes, I am going to turn them into ta -da! golden conductive pipes. Well, should have placed more redstone in there. And of course we're going to need some redstone torches. Um, could use the st stone and sticks to make uh, levers, but 
Where would be the fun in that? Now, uh, do not worry about choosing a place uh, strange because the item don't really requires uh, a really good place. It can work uh, nearly oops anywhere. Of course, there is a s oh should have placed myself um, should have picked my lap pack. Of course, it's a, it is good to place it close to your vase. For example, I should play I should be placing my anchor block instead of where it is. I should move it to around uh, to here to this block in here, so I can also keep uh, loaded these blocks in here. Remove the rubber tree farm and that. But I am going to place my farm in here. Yeah. So we are going to work with two components in here. First, there is the arboretum, and then is the logger. I am going to be a little quicker with this because we are reaching the time limit. Now you can see they are both uh, blocks, and I am digging underground because I want to place things under these. Okay, let's place here this power. Let's place a wooden conductive pipe here. Let's place there this so you can see there's nothing else there. And let's place the, st the steam engine. You can see it is now rotated. It will always point to the um, to the to this pipe. And yes, we are going to use um, a lever after all. Oh dear, we require cobblestone for that. Easy enough to, cra to craft. If all the problems were as easy to resolve. Anyway, we place in here charcoal, for example, and you can see it is not uh, starting to work. That's because we need to place humus inside the arboretum, and of course some some of these little uh, buried back. Okay, I burned most of my saplings, but not all of them. I have still a healthy amount of them. You can see I am going to leave this slot empty, and I am going to place the insertion pipe in here. Now I am going to take the stone pipe, place one in there, and uh, all, we are going to place another in here, and we are going to get our iron transport pipe. Nope. Okay, since I would be needing another item, I am going to leave things like so for a second, and I am going to place this in here, and here, and here, and here. Now I am going to grab myself quickly the Philosopher's Stone and craft really quick a double chest. Now be careful because you might be doing a terrible, terrible mistake, uh, but it should be okay for now. Okay, let's light up these monsters and see what happens. So see, energy is being taken on and it is being taken by the Arboretum, which will start working or should start working well I am going to remove uh, this piping here because we don't really need it at this point and let's get out of this pit I managed to get myself inside and since it's only a single steam engine it will take uh, some time oh see there we go. Don't worry about placing anything under this because when they are used up they will be turned into sand and if there is nothing under them they will drop and they won't be collected inside the chest. Anyway, let's leave this working for a while. Okay, it hasn't taken much time and we can leave it uh, empty for now because we already exhausted our supply of um, saplings. We now can, yes, as you can see, I had a visit and I was uh, taking care of some issues upstairs. We can now hook this uh, up if we want, or we could uh, devote an entire 
well, an engine for this site as well, or whatever. Anyway, uh, the only thing that's left right now is, is to leave this farm to grow on its own. See? There's one in there. If, I, if this was still on, uh, the logger would be picking up the whole uh, tree and leaves, trying to get uh, any sapling. And since there's an insertion pipe even here, uh, uh, the saplings would try to get inside the arboretum, filling these four slots, and if full, the, uh, the saplings would go inside this chest. Anyway, I turn this off for now at least, and I will be making a few modifications in a second, like placing a second system up there instead. Yes, I will be placing another feeding system just for this baby here. And uh, that will be all for today. Yes, we are beating the time mark, and I don't want you to be mad with me because of that. Anyway, you can see I am going to place here another steam engine with half the supply of charcoal and a lever in here. So the only thing that's left is to let all these trees to grow. And you can imagine not all of them will do that because they are too close together but uh, since they are so many close well we will get just uh, a more quicker result and I will be removing all this plantation in here and the, down, uh, the other down there so farewell and I'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching and remember in the next episode once we are getting a steady supply of charcoal, we'll be t uh, starting to make a, a quarry. And since we are making a quarry in the future, we are needing some sort of automatic sorting machine, which was the purpose of the previous Let's Play. So take care, and I'll see you around. Goodbye!